Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Kurdish Heritage Month, a series created every March by the New York Kurdish Culture Center to celebrate Kurdish culture past and present. Today, we're talking to Lukman Ahmad, a prominent Kurdish artist who is well known to some of you and who others will be meeting for the first time. So welcome, Lukman. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. A little, a little back. Thank you, thank you for having me with you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a total <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. I did a little reading about you and I found out that you're born in Hasaka, that you're yes. self- uh, not, Pardon? Yeah, not Hasaka, Derbasia. I, I grew up in Hasaka. It's oh. uh, close to Hasaka called Derbasia, small town, Kurdish town on yes. the border uh, in Turkey, yes. In Rojava. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, Rojava, yeah. It's fine. And you're self-taught as an artist, is that right? Yes, that's right. And you came to the U.S. in 2010 as a refugee? Yes, asylum refugee, yes. Ah, and you've worked for Voice of America Kurdish Service. Yes, that's true. You made some beautiful sequential artworks for them, just an incredible <laughs> uh, <laughs> illustrative, illustrative reportage or artistic reportage. Yeah. Um, and your paintings have been exhibited many times in both North America and Europe. Yes. Yes, since I came here, actually, uh -huh. yeah, I started, yeah, uh -huh. non-stop, non-stop work. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get going, I need to acknowledge the February 6th earthquakes and the immense suffering that they have caused to the Kurdish people of Bakur, especially, whose lives were already so difficult. Yes. And I hope that your friends and relatives all survive the earthquake, Lukman. Yeah, they are, but you know, it's very painful actually. So sad we we see every day that uh, the dramatic, you know, uh this uh uh people how suffering and struggling with to get, you know, just to live a normal life. And uh, the earthquake actually I think the the effects of that uh, earthquake will will stay for a while, uh, probably more than 10 years, you know, those people actually, poor people in Bakur and Rojava, both sides, because nobody supporting them, that's the problem. Um, yeah, our heart with, with them, and we try our best actually to help. So any anything uh, we could do, we're gonna do, and uh, that will, will, will be a process, you know, not just one day, we're gonna help uh, as much as we can. Uh, because uh, I called friends there, over there in Bakur and Rojava, both sides. Uh, you know, they said a lot of people now, they, they just, you know, uh, like uh, no home, no place to stay, uh, no money, nothing, you know, there. So uh, we try uh, here, um, any place, any 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 countries, any anywhere. We try to help them, you know, uh, money or just, you know, uh, some uh, supplies, some any, anything to to uh, let people survive and stay uh, at least you know this to to the summer you know because now it's very cold over there. Yeah, are you fundraising for Kurdish Red Crescent these days? Have we you actually, you know, we did something uh, by ourselves. We helped Afrin because Afrin actually been uh, been forgotten. You know, nobody support. Uh, those people so we try to in person we try to help uh, some some people there but you know my my exhibition actually it's gonna be um march uh, 11 uh half of sale it's gonna go to uh helping people uh so we're gonna do that and uh, my art we you know I'm, I'm working on it it's not easy uh, in america we have to prepare for that to do auction, art auction, to do live painting with some musician. Uh, we're gonna do a lot event, uh, probably uh, this month, next month, uh, to collect money, to at, at least, you know, draw attention of people, what's happening there. Now, will that March 11th event be in the Washington DC area? Uh, in Virginia. In Virginia. Um, and Yeah, yeah, Virginia. It's and gallery. My, my exhibition actually before the earthquake was there, but you know after earthquake happened, so we decided 
to make donation, you know, to help people. And uh, I'm gonna do auction too, through my show, uh, I, you know, special painting, uh, uh, particular about this event. Uh, so we're gonna do auction, how much we get. So the, all this money will go to helping people in Syria and the, mostly in Syria, uh, we will see if we could find organization could help. We're gonna send money, divide money to all this organization. But you know, we we try to do our best. I mean, to take responsibility as an artist. We tell people over there we thinking about them. We love them. We try to do the best, you know, to help them. Mm. Will people be able to participate online if they don't live in? Virginia? I have no idea. I have to ask that good question. I have to ask because I don't know the, the, the will be will be online. But you know, I will ask. That's very good, actually. If we can do that, I will ask the team over there the, who are working on the 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 social media and the event. I will ask them if they could do a live show or live stream. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Can I can I ask you now what might seem like a really basic question, but please please go ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what what motivates you to to make art? What's motivated you to begin with, and how what motivates you to continue? Uh, I think it's, it's, that's is very difficult the question, you know. But I will go with simple answer. You know, it's love. I think, mm -hmm. you know, it's passion. I, you know, is, is, uh, how to to love uh, something and you you try to as much as you can understand that thing you know whatever like you love your mom your daughter your husband your wife anything around you so as as, as much as you can you try to understand that you know so art i think is very um um, um attractive for me so uh since i was maybe 9 years old uh, I've been part of that. I start, you know, felt in love with art, but with no knowledge, what does mean art? Then when I grow up, I figure out is something and I can use it for something good. Mm -hmm. So I think love the, the, the for me, you know, in person, because I didn't study art. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, I learned because I know Picasso or some somebody else, you know, or Chagall or... No, just, you know, with small, uh, I mean, like simple family mm -hmm. uh, with difficult situation as a Kurd. So mm -hmm. I was just playing with the, with art, with sculpture in the beginning. Really? Uh, then I figured out it's something, you know, I could use it for something good in my life. Mm -hmm. So where do you find inspiration for your for your paintings and or do you still do sculpture you don't anymore do you? no no not not yet you know sculpture i'm 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 preparing myself you know uh i'm gonna go back but it's been for a while actually long time uh mm -hmm. sculpture is difficult you know as you know you need a lot of supplies you need place you need uh, when you have show exhibition you have it's, it's difficult so uh, painting is much easier than sculpture so i just choose um uh, uh, painting mm -hmm. uh, because easier for me I traveled a lot uh, I didn't have enough space all the time <laughs> so <laughs> I was just holding my book you know my sketchbook or something you know just do whatever I see I can just trace it or you know get the idea mm -hmm. uh, so uh, and 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 the, your question you know go back to your is quest question um now I think now because I understand what is going on around me, I, I you know, uh, uh, um, I figure out how we can use art for to tell the story of the people. But uh, the beginning, actually, I didn't know that I was just trying to express myself. But, you know, most effect or influenced uh, things around me, like affected me, um, uh, my mother. Uh, the the Kurdish simple life, you know, with uh, very colorful dresses, uh, simple food, uh, music, dance, you know, all these things. I think I I hold it till now. I hold them with me. Mm -hmm. uh, now I understand more. But in the beginning, because a lot of people asking me how you get this this color, uh, very bright, mm -hmm. 
um, you know, uh, uh, colorful. How you get that? You know, I now I understand that came from my my memory uh, through my mother, my you know grandmother, the people around me. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that I was going to ask you how where, about the colors myself. Um, I noticed that some of your because some of your paintings are so vibrant and colorful, and expressive and have kind of abstracted figures. Yes. And then there are also some very, very realistic portraits. Yes. Um, portraits of Kurdish people, I think. Yes. Um, it's it's a very different style. It different seems style. like, do you do both of those at both. once? Are both necessary for you to make? Yeah, this portrait. Yeah. Uh, actually, portrait, I don't, rec you know, the, 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 the Port, I do portrait for some uh, purpose, you know. I don't like to portray as much, you know, as I love other other uh, you know styles. But I do portrait with uh, with some purpose to um, first, you know, to have an archive of the Kurdish figures first, because we don't have that. If you go back and check, you know, just do search on Google or online. You can't find enough information or pictures or portrait, whatever, you know, uh, about the Kurdish figures. Uh, so I, you know, hold that on my shoulder. I said, okay, let me do something, at least, you know, to serve my community, my people, mm -hmm. to just appreciate what those people did for us, you know. Uh, so I choose some of them and still, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do more. Uh, I focus, my folks on on a uh, singer, a musician, uh, you know, uh, 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 poets, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, people who really did something, you know, for, for, for our community. I try to a little bit avoid a politician because I don't like to be part of any problems or, or issues. I try to choose those people who've been forgotten, really, you know, like I have, I have found some just maybe one picture for of the some great singer, you know, Kurdish singer. So I then with the with the bl black and white and the not uh, uh, bluer, not clear, you know. So I did that again, you know, recreate that uh, that picture to keep it for for next generation. Mm. And this so, how I do I do portrait, yeah. I do portrait for that reason, you know. I, I sometimes when you feel like you know you have to do something connection with with people, I think that necessary, you know, to put uh, a portrait of somebody, let people understand and make connection. But you know, mostly I try to to do uh, like other style, you know. Uh, portrait is is something for, as I said, you know, for purpose. Mm -hmm. Would you say your your style has evolved over time? It's in the past in the past decades. Have you have you, you said you you are more interested in storytelling now than you were in the past? Yes. Is that is that? Yeah, actually, that. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, you know, when I go back to to uh, my you know uh, my child time, you know, I actually uh, I heard from my father. Uh, when we we're uh, when he was singing for example you know t you know very sad song uh, about the kurdish um uh um uh, love story or you know uh, some uh other stories so i i figure out how we can bring this story to uh to alive you know to let people understand because song or music it's most abstract you know people cannot figure out or cannot you know imagine that uh, that uh, that uh, story i think art or painting can help that you know both of them they can help each other how you transfer or you convert that song word music to something on canvas people can see it you know physically can see it mm -hmm. so uh, i start with some simple things uh, collect some song here there and then I, I work on them then I figure out that is very good actually a uh, subject or topic uh, I, I could work on it and then I feel like still I'm working on it um, uh, how to um, uh, convert or transfer uh, Kurdish classical songs 
to painting, to be a painting. So I started that and uh, was 2000, I think 2000, I think I started that time. And when I came to America, I stopped doing that because um, they need a lot of work. You know, you have to listen to all these songs and write, write down the, 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 the lyrics. And then you have to compare each one, which one is good, which one not, you know, a lot work. The process is too much. So I keep it now. I'm, I'm going back. Actually, I'm working on, on something new. I'm, I'm trying to uh, choose one by one. Like a uh, long time ago, I was just mixing, you know, bringing some from, from Brojava, from Bakur, from uh, uh, Bashur. But now, I'm, I'm at, you know, uh, uh, that's much clear to me that the sense is too clear, you know. So I am I'm going to choose one by one. Uh, this time I choose Kurdish singer. Uh, I think a lot of people, they don't know him. His name is Azadino, Azadin. Uh, he's from Mardin, but he's passed away, I think, 1975, 76, that time. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Nothing on that person, on that uh, musician. So I, you know, I did some search. I called some his family. Don't then I get some songs, and I'm working on that. Hopefully this year will be finished the project about Azadino. Uh, so then I will go, you know, move to other uh, singer. Now, do you, when you listen to a song, when you're inspired by a song, are you? like trying to tell the story within the song in visual terms or are you kind of uh, images from listening to the song yes. that aren't necessarily attached to stories or yeah uh some some artists kurdish artists actually they try to do that like they uh we have seen some uh painting about mamuzin for example the love story you know most famous love story kurdish story and uh, siamandu haje and but you know, I I saw those very simple. You just try to copy something from other culture, from mm -hmm. Persian, from Turkish culture, and they did that. Uh, I saw that uh, could not help, you know, because if you are not from that area, you can't understand the, the real story, and then you don't have identity of that because it's copy, you know, it's not original. So you have to hold, I mean, keep both sides artistic side which mean you do perfect painting that you know to let anybody from the world can see that painting can you know understand this is perfect painting you know with technique with color with brush with everything the second is how to bring this story very local story been forgotten you know nobody knows like through my experience many times you know through when i do exhibition or show people asking who this Kurdish, we don't, you know, it's it's very, I mean, like people cannot um, uh, um, understand this story easily, you know. So when you have good uh, quality, I mean, good uh, artistic uh, style, people can understand, you know, because you, you smooth, you know, translate your, your, your message to other people, to people who are not familiar with your your background. So I'm doing that and uh, um, I think now is working. I feel that a lot of people, you know, be close, you know, to, to my art and they understand. Some people, they try, like uh, I have a lot of uh, American friend or uh, a friend from other countries. Uh, so they, they, they ask me to send them the song, you know, these songs of uh, Azadino, for example, even they don't understand, uh, you know, difficult, but you know, they, they said, okay, le let's do that and listen to this, this, uh, uh, these singers. So that's the, the point, you know, how to bring others to your, your stage, you know, to let them understand your situation. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Now I feel like I really understand your work better now, knowing that it, there's a whole silent musical component that we can't hear, but that you were hearing. And, <laughs> <laughs> it kind of fills in a gap in understanding to, to realize that, yeah, there's all, there's, there's music in the background of, of this all. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Is it, is it, um, is it cathartic for you to make art personally? 
Do you find that it helps you, like for example, making art at a time like this? Does it help you kind of cope with suffering, the suffering of Kurdish people, or does it, does it kind of have a um, help you emotionally, person as a person, process um, difficulties going on in the world? Does it? Is it? Uh, yeah, in person actually, I don't feel that much because I've been doing art for a long, long, long time ago. You know, so it's a, it's a part of my life actually. You know. Uh, I turn my home, my, you know, my basement as a studio. I, you know, I live with that is part of my life. Mm -hmm. But as you know, for, for other side, my other side, which is part also of me, the Kurdish suffering, you know, or Kurdish issues or Kurdish problem, you know, uh, I, uh, I try to all the time to bring the art and, you know, uh, push the, the, the culture to be part of the solution of, uh, of Kurdish issues, you know, because uh, uh, we we avoid as a Kurd, you know, we avoided the the culture and art and the music to be part of our our um, uh, what they call like uh, um, revolution, you know, or 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 uh, future. So I think that the problem, uh, I am one of those people who are trying to avoid politics, you know, and bring art more. Uh, let's art talk behalf of us. Let's uh, music talks behalf of us. Because politics actually felt, you know, uh, they are a failure. They, they couldn't do anything. Maybe it's difficult, it's too much for them. But, you know, we have to turn something else, you know, we have very good, good, uh, talented people. Uh, we have very good background as 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 a culture. We can use these uh, elements to just tell our story to others. You know, uh, I can we can bring some example. You know, uh, 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 Mark Chagall, one of those artists. You know, who could do something. You know, let people under, like understand the the story of of Jewish people. And their suffering, or uh, and uh, Picasso, for example, one of also uh, those artists. I mean, art can do a lot more than politics. Uh, mm -hmm. With all my respect, I know they they do uh, as much as they can. But uh, in this situation, uh, after globalism, we 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 can open more uh, our doors to to more to bring more people in in our stage. Mm -hmm. um, uh, people cannot understand our language, cannot understand the situation why those people are fighting, why those people, why this government, you know, are uh, uh, um, uh, ignoring this uh, those people, this culture. But you know, when people play music, people can understand, you know, can understand. Or when good artists, you know, can exhibit his or her art somewhere, people can understand more. So I think that that the experience or that uh, uh, um, the power of the art, uh, we have to use it, you know, to to let people understand our uh, our our uh, you know uh, uh, stories. Is uh, I'm not I'm not putting polit uh, uh, um, art uh, with with politics. I'm not mixing that. You know, art completely independent. You know, you just show your your skills and through art you can tell all these things you know all these i mean problems love uh, emotion everything through your art and that will be more smooth to other people who are not familiar with your your problem hmm. wow yeah. thank you for that i think a lot about art and politics and the kind of often tortured relationship between the two of them because they really seem like oil and water sometimes, that politics is about organizing and bringing people together and and finding like kind of a basic common denominator that people can work on. Whereas mm. art is about exploring differences and making distinctions and not feeling bound by, by the common commonality. And yet they both are dependent on each other. And I yes. I feel like Art can come sometimes become propagandistic, and I don't if it if it is all political, and I don't want that. And yet I feel also sometimes about wondering about the purpose of art 
in terms of improving the situation of people and improve and working and and your what you're saying what I'm hearing you say is that art has its own power that is beyond politics and that has yes. its, it has capabilities that uh, of bringing people together and creating understanding in ways that are in some ways maybe more more eternal than politics than passing political issues so yes if I, if I understood you correctly yes no that that's 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 right you know I believe in that uh art for us you know for for people like like us you know um a lot of the world you know they they don't they don't know the who is who are the Kurd so after Kobani I think a little bit changed you know uh but I think before uh a lot of people they didn't know actually where is Kurdistan or what does it mean who are the Kurd uh so it's very, very difficult you know for that I think we have to turn our 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 uh um i mean uh work you know our our uh, uh, uh thing you know we, we we turn to something else uh we i as i said we have very good uh people who are very talented in uh, cinema we have in uh, uh you know movie uh, film uh, director we have uh, good people with music singer uh, painter so i think we we have to to uh, uh share all these things with with uh, with other people they can understand more uh, uh and and we have very good example you know good example yelmaz guni when he is uh, his uh, his through his movies you know a lot of people the western countries all of them you know they they rec rec recognize Yalmaz Guni as a Kurdish uh, movie director and they, through his movie even those movie were in, in Turkish you know like the language but people understood you know the the situation over there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we still have a few moments left I want to just ask a couple more questions maybe I can do this um you've mentioned Picasso and Chagall and I wondered if there are specifically any specific Kurdish painters who you feel inspired by, or who you feel that you form part of a tradition of. And mm -hmm. the other question is, is there, among Kurdish painters today, are, do you have a, a network by which you support each other? Because there must be quite a few of you. Um, is there some kind of a, an association or, or collaborative structure for Kurdish painters today? So those are my last two questions and mm -hmm. you could spend as long yeah. as you so. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for for Kurdish uh, artists, you know, because we don't have that uh, that history of art in in our society, you know, the I think first artists, you know, in Syria, I mean, in Rojava, I know where uh, was uh, Malva called Omar Hamdi Malva. He was from Hasaka, but he was out when I when I I, I you know I grew up. He was uh, he, he was uh, uh, in in Europe. So we heard about him. He was a very good artist. Uh, I don't know, five, six years, he just passed away. But he was a very good artist. We heard about him and the other artists, Bashar, Issa, but we didn't have enough artists, you know, to learn from them as, you know, as, as reference or, you know, as a master to learn from them. Uh, mm -hmm. All the artists who I learned, actually, I learned from some Arab artists and mostly from, like, uh, international artists, you know, uh, um, Kandinsky, when I learned about him, Kandinsky still, you know, uh, he, uh, <laughs> he has a lot of impact on, on my art. I love, and his idea actually also when he was talking about the music, uh, the relationship between music and, and colors. And uh, Mark Chagall, because Mark Chagall, he used that story. I love the idea, you know, how to turn this story to the painting. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh Klimt, Gustav Klimt was oh, also a wonderful artist you know I still you know sometimes I look at his painting to get some influence by him uh Goya for one one also is is a good good artist Rembrandt so a lot of international artists because we don't have uh that long uh, uh history of the art in our our community you know we were busy with to how to suffer, you know, to 
to survive. So we didn't have enough time. I think like, look, in, in Hasaka, my, my, my city on that area, all the, the, the area, in my generation, we, I think we are the first, maybe first generation of artists. Uh, I mean, second generation of artists. You know, we didn't have like people now, they, a lot of next generation, they, they recognize us as, as you know, the people who, 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 who create some, who built something, you know, for them. We don't have that history, unfortunately. Uh, now, in this time, we have very good artists uh, in Europe, in Kurdistan, uh, in Bakur, uh, Rojava. Uh, for example, I can't go with names, but you know, we have very good, uh, good artists, actually. Even some of them, they are not very famous. They didn't get chance to, 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 to exhibit their or display their work somewhere else. But you know they are as as uh, as the creative. They are very 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 professional. Hopefully those people you know get chance to get out and let people you know uh, enjoy uh, their 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 beautiful work you know and very very strong uh, 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 work. So uh, I think the the situation of the Kurdistan or the the Kurdish community is very difficult. A lot of artists they struggled how they they could just exhibit or display their work somewhere else you know uh, for example america i tried in myself to have exhibition like a group uh, uh, exhibition uh, it's very difficult you know you need a lot of money uh, you need support you need people who work be, be beside you or behind you to to just make it easy you know it, it's very difficult in europe now uh, after after Syrian war, a lot of Kurdish people moved there and now they live there. We have very good group of uh, great artists, but still, you know, they, they, they are working. They still didn't get their chance, you know, to be part of that. But I feel I follow them. They are working now. Some of them been recognized by, by some other artists, you know, in, in, in Europe. So hopefully maybe, uh, 10 years, you will see uh, more about those artists, uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, second second question was, can you remind me? Oh, about, the, um, is there a network um, of ah. British artists today? Yes, yes, actually it is still is difficult, as I said, you know, yeah. destination. Uh, also the, you know, we divided, you know, it's not easy. Uh, if I, I go uh, easily to Turkey, I can't go there, you know, because of politics problem. In Syria, we can we cannot do anything like a workshop or do because, as you know, you an artist too. You know that art is not talk. You know, art is work. So you have to do a lot of work. You know, practically, you have to do workshop. You have to exhibit your art. You have to, uh, uh, you know, do a lot of of uh, of. I mean, uh, work. You know. Uh, but you know, for our situation, actually, we don't have like, for example, uh, all our political par parties, they are not supporting artists. This one of big problem of uh, the Kurdish artists, you know, they don't figure out those, they, they, they use them when they need them okay? <laughs> for propaganda or something, you know, they don't recognize them as an artist, you know, like yearly, you know, they can do a very good exhibition somewhere you know america they choose anywhere they can bring those artists you know to just uh, uh exhibit their art but you know nobody support them they do by themselves you know everything so that one big problem we are trying i like uh, when i <clears throat> i start working at uh, voice of america um uh, i um, you know, I figure out how we can help this art, this those those artists. So uh, I create the program called a radio program called the Dangurang, uh, voice and 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 uh, color. So I was uh, I was uh, uh, introducing uh, Kurdish artists everywhere, like in Europe, American in Kurdistan area everywhere. Sorani Kurmanji, both uh, dialect. So and. Uh, and just you know, try to let people understand each other and uh, introduce them to each other, and introduce them to our society. We just listen to politics, and then I said, okay, let's listen to artists. You know how they talk. 
so that was my 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 purpose, and uh, actually was good. We work very. I worked. The program was I think stayed eight years, maybe seven years. You know, I interviewed a lot of uh, of artists. I mean, artists, not just painter. You know, uh, musician, uh, um, singer, all this kind of art. Uh, we try to I'm, I'm, I'm we're still trying to do uh, as 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 uh, as uh, uh, um, you know a group or people can not network as you said but it's difficult still is difficult because you need a money you know you can't do just talk you need the pra I, as i said art is something practically you know you have to do on ground you have to do something we have a group we have some friends but you know we don't have support uh we need somebody like uh, in america you know you, you know much than me more than me you know american uh they have somebody even the government sometimes they help uh, those artists or the community you know they can help these artists you know we don't have that <clears throat> that mm. one of the big issue for for kurdish uh, uh, artists um i think it, this is 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 a process you know, it's not going to. I'm I'm so optimistic because when I compare this time with with uh, with past, you know, it's it's very very shiny. I mean, like very positive, uh, impressive. You know, uh, I feel like people understand now each other. They can now. I know a lot of artists everywhere from Projelat, from Bakur, from everywhere. Before, you know, just I, you know, you know, like few of artists in in your area i mean your lo, you know location now you, you we know more uh we need just uh, i think we need support that's the you know uh, uh, let me let me also uh, bring that uh, that on the topic you know the, our community uh they don't buy uh, the, the 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 art you know this one also one big problem uh, artists cannot live on their their art you know their work mm -hmm. so they have to work other other work other job beside their their to be a, as, as artist this also big problem i tried by myself i tried to push our community our people like rich people you know to to buy uh, 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 art paintings because first they they keep the the they 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 make as as a collection of of Kurdish artists uh, art and the second you know they help artists to to grow in in through their their art so we don't have that uh, traditional you know uh, as as uh, comparing as uh, with with America or Western uh, countries uh, we don't this one I think one step we have to take it from our community from people who now they they're you know uh, getting wealthy and uh, some people educated people also those people i think they have to uh, understand uh, when they buy uh, or they uh, help uh, support art or artists you know they are not doing for uh, a, a favor for for them you know it's kind of uh, of duty uh, about your culture you know like you go to europe you will see those uh, collector of the art you know how they they build this this history of art you know uh, if w without of them you know we couldn't see any piece of uh, this great artist you know so those people uh, actually they save all this beautiful you know art to to us so we don't have that uh, i mean that culture in in uh, in our community uh, as a court i think because people mostly they are poor you know they they are busy with with other things but now the situation changing so i think we have to to try to uh, educate our people you know to let them understand when they buy piece of art you know uh, uh, they that, that's is you you buy part of uh, i mean piece of of your culture is not about the artist you know you keep that and then you build your culture uh, art is 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 big part of uh, of the the, the humanity uh, culture uh, so we don't have that uh, culture and uh, you know uh, uh, i blame this uh, uh, iraqi kurdistan or bashur you know most people like now they they have uh, uh, government you know they have uh, money 
but you know, if you go there, you can't see uh, their office, for example, they, you can't see any piece of, of Kurdish artists there. I think they have to look at that, you know, and they, they, they try to fund or uh, uh, support Kurdish uh, artists everywhere. You know, uh, like you go here, you go any places, you know, in government or, you know, any uh, organization, you will see a lot of art there, you know, even they buy or they exhibit, you know, you have to bring the art to be part of your society. Um, that that one of of uh, of the pro the problem you know and other thing you know we don't have enough uh, galleries you know we don't have museum for example uh, a lot of great artists you know just they passed away but you know we don't have space for them to keep their art so I think we have to figure out how to can uh, how to 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 build uh, uh, even the small you know small museum for for to keep uh, all these. Uh, artwork, you know, uh, alive or save them, protect them. We don't have that. Uh, so all this, you know, uh, they cost the artists by by themselves, you know, because you have to keep yourself. You, uh, I visit one one artist. His name Riza Riza Topal. Riza Topal. I think now he's probably eighty eight years in Berlin. You know, he's from original from Dersim, from Bakur. He has thousands of 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 uh, painting thousands you know he told me in person you know he, he you know he said you know i'm gonna die and i don't know what i'm gonna do with these paintings so look at that it's very very sad yeah very yeah. tragic you know those the, so i think people who in charge people who have you know people who uh, have a, a, a little power or you know uh money i think they have to think about that you know um uh, we don't have it uh, unfortunately uh some people you know let me bring something the, my last exhibition um uh, one of the kurdish uh, friend you know he came to me and he said you know you, you look man will i love you you know i like to support you but you know this is a little bit expensive i'm you know i can't do and i like to help you i said look don't help me don't say that take it this piece, you know, as a part of the, the art, you know, I mean, like piece of art. If you think you're going to help me, you give me a thousands or something, you know, dollars, it's not going to uh, uh, make my life, you know, change to 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 be a good, you know, uh, you can. You can think different way. You can take these pieces and put put that piece in your your home and, uh, you know, be proud of that. And not because of me, any artist, any other artist, you know because uh, you you keep the culture you keep the and you collect the the the, the history of art you know kurdish art mm -hmm. and i am also i am one of the, the the artists i'm trying actually to uh to build the kurdish art you know kurdish art a lot of people they they complain about that you know they said uh, how why you say that you know there there is a kurdish art you know for Nothing, you know, we can say the Kurdish art, but my opinion, we we have to build that, you know, because we keep identity of that experience, you know, mm. uh, expression of a Kurdish artists. I live here in America. I, I became American citizen. I do a lot of things, you know, and the, the American life also uh, impact me, you know, but my background, you know, because as you know, as an artist, a lot of things came from your memory is not from your your like uh, daily life you know so uh, our memory built and you know born and 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 grow and build over there so we keep that when when you work you just use some technique but in the 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 main idea you use it from from back home from your culture your heritage mm -hmm. so i think that's very uh, you can say it uh, you name it as a Kurdish art, you know, uh, and Kurdish art is not political name. A lot of people, they, you know, they, they get scared or they said, why this a lot of Arab, for example, uh, artists, uh, you know, uh, uh, people will, will hate that will, will, is not likely, you know, for, for a lot of people, uh, for Turkish people. But I said, you know, in the end is kind of identity. Uh, this you culturally, you know, you, you you talk about something more than politics, more than more than uh, 
uh, this uh, uh, political, uh, I mean, uh, uh, political uh, issues. You you talk about culture. You bring Kurdish women dresses and you show people this custom, this design, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to to others. Uh, the color, uh, I mean, the some uh, symbols, some uh, items, you know, a, a lot of things through the art you can show people is not about politics. Mm -hmm. When I do, for example, when I do stories about Kurdish singer, I'm not doing politics, you know, I'm bringing part of, of the, the humanity culture to others, you know, to, to understand the because we don't know, like when you talk about Shakespeare, why, why Shakespeare is very important. Because he brought that cult, that culture about uh, Hamlet, for example. Now everybody knows Hamlet because of, of Shakespeare, you know? Uh, and those people actually, they, they spread very local, very tiny stories uh, uh, from their, their area, their location to all the world to become a universal. So I think, uh, we have to do that. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. I think, and Shakespeare is, there is of course, known for helping to create the English language that we're speaking today. I mean, it was he, by his playwriting, he helped create a culture that we participate in. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's all, in, it's encompassing and yet it's not universal. I mean, he was also an Englishman you know, making making art for an English world. In an English world, he had to set yes. some of his plays in Italy because the British the government wouldn't let him set them in England, you know, so he had to talk about his society by transposing people in Italy. And maybe some people today have to do the same thing to avoid to avoid political persecution. Uh, yeah. in, in any case, yeah, I think it's perfectly legitimate to have a, um, to develop Kur Kurdish art. I think it's very important to do that. It, European art is not universal art. Um, as much as we love Picasso and Chagall. Um, I think mm -hmm. I think it's it's um, wonderful that you are you are blazing a trail in a way. I mean, you say there's no Kurdish artistic tradition, not much of one anyway to build on from the past, but I think you are blazing a trail. you and your generation are blazing the trail um, so that years from now, Kurdish artists in the future will look back and regard you and your colleagues as as the giants who helped create their tradition. So um, it's an honor to 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 Thank meet you. you and to hear these amazing words from you about, about and to understand better just what you what how you see yourself in in this world and, and in relation to art. So thank you, thank you so much for. Oh, for Janet, thank you so much. Thank you. It's an honor, pleasure, you know, to be with you. Uh, I hope I I, I did uh, good, you know, express uh, myself very well. Uh, you know, and, uh, and also add something new, because we our talk uh, usually in, in in Kurdish uh, traditional or Kurdish culture is more politics. You know, and mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, one problem, uh, Janet, we uh, the Kurds. You know, when the Kurds became a a, a, a theme of of fighter. You know, like uh, in Kobani and be, before that in in Peshmerga in Iraqi Kurdistan. Here in America or other place, you know, when you mention the Kurdish name, everybody said, oh, they are good fighter. They are brave people, you know. But, you know, I think this is not the reality of the Kurds, you know. Uh, the fact is Kurd as a human being, you know, they, uh, they have all this culture, very, very rich heritage, culture, been missing, been forgotten. And now, slowly, slowly, you know, day by day, they they are, are dying, you know, with with uh, with some agenda of Turkish government, uh, Syrian government, you know, all this, you know, uh, Iranian government. They try to destroy it or kill or you know, you know, burn this this uh, this uh, this culture. Um, we have to uh, tell people, you know, the Kurds as as. As, as, as a people, you know, as a, as a human being, as part of uh, humanity culture, we have to bring this music, this very unique music, uh, tambour, the saz, daf, you know, and Kurdish custom dresses, food, all this, you know, part and Kurdish language, uh, you know, um, we have to bring them to be recognized by others. They are not recognized enough, you know, to be part of, you know, it's not enough when you said, Kurdish people are good fighter. 
you know we are we became a fighter and you have that experience i think you through your book uh with with uh, with, uh, with the kurdish girl fighters you know they are very beautiful they like to live like other other girls you know but because of the situation of isis you know they turn to be a fighter but you know normally those people they like to to live a normal life we love to help people you know and understanding uh and uh, and uh, uh recognizing cults as as other people yeah we have no country uh we're trying to have in as uh, Osman Baydemir one time in, in uh, Turkish parliament, they, he said, you know, I came from Kurdistan to deliver my message. And, uh, you know, uh, they said, where is Kurdistan? There is no Kurdistan. And he said, Kurdistan is here in my heart. That was very, very power uh, words, you know, uh, expression to that. So we, we hold Kurdistan in our heart. Uh, but we have practically, we have to do more to let the Kurdistan, you know, uh, showing up to others is through the culture, the art, music. We have very, very unique music. We have very unique uh, culture, you know. I think we have to work on that. Um, it's not enough to talk on politics uh, with all my respect, but we have also bring that. And uh, I think uh, uh, we now we, 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 we can remember Leonardo da Vinci, but we don't know exactly that that time. You know who who was the the governor of that place, who was the you know in, in charge of politics. We just know Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, he he was the door or the window of 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 that 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 age. You know that uh, period of that time. So I think we have to a little bit figure out and how to develop uh, Kurdish culture to others. You know to to be recognized by others. I think that's what the, the, the folks who created the New York Kurdish Culture Center had exactly that in mind, is being a place where we could talk about culture without being divided by politics, because there's many different um, political views amongst Kurds and many different you know, geographical origins or whatever, and many different splits. But, but culture is a place where Kurds can, can come together and build something lasting. And that that maybe has that has political dimensions, but that is also um, allows for creativity outside of politics. So, yes, yes. Thank you for for articulating articulating that so beautifully. So, um, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and I thank hope you. You have, I thank hope you. you have a wonderful day. And thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.